The following video tutorial will show you two ways to use the drill deck cognitive reaction cards in context to the balance of speed and precision target. Before we get to the tutorial, I should mention these cards can be used in many other ways than what the video shows. You are only limited by your imagination and creativity. Your target should be placed downrange at a distance you're comfortable with. The cards can be placed on a table, in your pocket, or in a holder on your belt. Now let's get started and draw our first card. There are two indicators on any given card you need to focus on. There is the primary indicator and the secondary indicator. In the case of this particular card, the primary indicator is represented by the gray square. And the secondary indicator is the colored numeral in the corner. When you see the square indicator, it cues you to put two to five shots in the high center chest area on the target. And then one sighted fire shot in the number one red circle. It should look similar to this. Let's flip another card. In this case, you will put two to five shots in the B box and then one sighted shot in the two blue circle. It should look similar to this. Let's flip another. In this case, you will put two to five shots in the A box and then one sighted fire shot in the green six circle. It should look similar to this. I'm sure you're getting the hang of it by now, but let's flip another card. In this case, you will put two to five shots in the head area, which is cued by the gray triangle, and then one shot in the five blue circle. It should look similar to this. Before I flip another card, I need to explain another indicator you will see on the next card. Until now, your position has been static on the range in relation to the target. But the drill deck incorporates movement indicators represented by colored stripes. So let's flip that card. Your first indicator will now be the colored stripe, which means to move to that position before engaging the target. Let's go to the virtual range so I can show you what I mean. Here you see the target placed down range and colored cones spaced laterally and parallel to the target. So in the case of the red stripe, you would move to the red cone first and then engage the target based on the other card indicators. An alternate cone configuration could be to place the colored cones perpendicular to the target facilitating movement up and down the range. There are a multitude of ways you can use the movement indicators, and these are just two examples. Let's go back to the cards. So in this case, you will move to the red position, which is your first indicator. Put two to five shots in the high center chest, and then one sighted fire shot in the green six circle. It should look similar to this. You would stay in the red position and flip your next card. In this case, you will move to the yellow position, put two to five shots in the head, and then one shot in the five blue circle. It should look similar to this. That concludes this tutorial. We guarantee this will be a solid part of your training, either by yourself, with friends, or with instructors. There are drill decks for other targets, and click on the link below to see what those are. Now get out and train.